have four different ways of saying some in French. Well, today we are going to practice our partitive articles. Okay, so what are partitive articles? Well, they are used to express an unknown quantity of something. For example, you could say, I eat some bread. Je mange du pain. Okay, I eat some. So quite often they are referring as some, something. It is often used for food, but, but not only. In French, the partitive article changes depending on the gender number of the noun that follows. For example, de l with an apostrophe when the noun that follows, whether feminine or masculine, begins with a vowel or a silent H. Or it could be D, referring to plural nouns. So D plus plural noun, okay? Du, we say du for some when it refers to a masculine noun. Or de la when it refers to a feminine noun. So let's have a look at some examples here. Je mange de la confiture. I eat some jam. Because confiture is a feminine singular noun, we must say de and then la confiture, okay? If you wanted to use a masculine singular noun, for example, we could say j'ai acheté du beurre. I bought some butter. Here we use du, okay, because beurre is masculine singular. We can't say de le beurre, okay? We need to say du. Now, when using de l apostrophe, as I said to you, when the word begins with a vowel, regardless whether it's feminine or masculine, or it begins with a silent H, okay, it would be de le. So, je bois de l'eau. I drink some water. O begins with a vowel and therefore we need to see. We drop the A, okay, the A, and we put an apostrophe, de l'eau, okay? So, for example, an example for uh, plural. Je mange des pâtes. I eat some pasta. I know that in English it's, a, it's singular, but in French, pat, we say pastas. It's plural here. Je mange des pâtes. I eat some pasta. Now, whereas the partitive some is not always required in English, it is absolutely needed in French. So, remember, you cannot omit it. So, what happens when we use a partitive article with a negation? Now, when using a negation in a sentence, the partitive articles de la, du, des, de, et l'apostrophe become de or de apostrophe. For example, je mange du pain, I eat bread, but we want to say I don't eat bread, you would say je ne mange pas de pain. See, the du becomes de because we are using a negation. Je bois de la limonade, I drink some lemonade, je ne bois pas de limonade. Okay, see what I've done here? Just use de. J'ai acheté des pâtes. I bought pastas. Pasta. Je n'ai pas acheté de pâtes. Okay, here again, de becomes de. And the same, j'ai de l'argent de poche. I have some pocket money. De est l'apostrophe. Je n'ai pas d'argent de poche. I don't have pocket money. So the E is dropped here, but we keep de. Okay, instead of de, le. Okay, another thing. What happens when we use partitive articles after a quantity? So, after a quantity, the partitive articles, the same way as I've just mentioned, de la, du, de, de le, also become de or de apostrophe. For example, j'ai de la confiture, I have some jam. But we want to say, I have 500 grams of jam. So, here it becomes j'ai. 500 grammes de confiture. Okay, we again drop the la. Je voudrais des pommes. I would like some apples. But you want to say, I would like a kilo of apples. Then you become a D becomes de. Je voudrais un kilo de pommes. See what we've done? J'ai du lait. I have some milk. J'ai un litre de lait. I have a litre of Milk. Okay, so we know this. 
Okay, we've, we've done a, a few examples. What I would like us to do now is try to practice using a few sentences. And I think that's the best way to learn anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at numéro un. We have, voulez-vous, and then we need a partitive article. So you've got all the list here for you. Oh, now this one is easy because we've done it as an example. Do you remember? O meant water. Okay. Now, O begins with a vowel, and therefore, no matter what, it has to have an L apostrophe before. Now, to say some, we say du, de la, de le, or des. In that case, it's de L apostrophe. Voulez-vous de l'eau? Would you like some water, or do you want some water? Voulez-vous de l'eau? Do you want some water. Now, do you remember that in English you can omit it? Do you want water? In French, you can't. You have to say, do you want some water? Okay. Now, voulez-vous de l'eau? Très bien. Now, numéro deux. Il a, il a, and then we want to put a partitive article, chance. Now, chance is not as an object. It means luck. Okay. So, we want to say he has some luck. Okay. Or he is lucky. But in French, avoir Something chance means to be lucky. So, would it be here? De le, de la, de l apostrophe, or de. Now, you think, well, pff, I don't know because I don't know what gender is chance. Well, most of the time, if the word ends with a ni or sion, it is likely to be feminine. Remember that. The rest, however, is likely to be masculine. Okay? There are some e words that are masculine, but not as often as feminine, okay, if that makes sense. So, if we look at chance, chance has an E at the end, so it's likely to be feminine. It is actually feminine. So, knowing that, use the partitive article that correspond to a, a, a feminine word, de la. Il a de la chance. He's lucky. He has some luck, okay. Il a de la chance. Let's have a look at my next example. Je voudrais, and then participle article, marmelade sur mon pain, s'il vous plaît. Marmalade, okay, that's some jam. On my bread, please, okay. So, je voudrais. Now, I would like some marmalade on my bread. How do you say some here? Du marmelade, de la marmelade, de l'eau. Marmelade, de marmelade? Well, it's not a plural, there is no S. It's not de le apostrophe because the word doesn't begin with an H or a vowel. So, it is either du or de la. Now, what did I say? Most of the time, if the words end with an E, it is likely to be feminine. So, je voudrais de la marmelade sur mon pain, s'il vous plaît. See what we are doing here? Let's have a look at number four. Il prend toujours something dans son café. So, toujours something sucre, that's sugar, okay, dans son café. Okay. Il prend toujours du sucre, de la sucre, de le sucre, des sucres. Well, it can't be de le apostrophe or de. Okay, we know that because it's not plural. It doesn't begin with a vowel or an H. But it can be du and it can be de la. Now, you think there is an E likely to be feminine, de la sucre. Well, this is where the exceptions to the rule applies. Sucre is actually masculine. It's masculine. So, it is du sucre. Okay? Il prend toujours du sucre dans son café. He always takes sugar in his coffee. And what I'm going to do to help you here, I'm going to underline here uh, the colors for the genders. Now, O is feminine. Chance is feminine. Marmelade is feminine. Sucre is masculine. I know it ends with an E, but it's one of those exceptions that you've got to get used to. Numéro 5. Nous mangeons, and then gâteau pour le goûter. Now, nous mangeons, we are eating, some gâteau, some cake. And I'm going to draw because, as you know, I do like my drawings. That's my gâteau. A birthday cake, okay. So, we are eating some cakes for goûter, four o'clock. You know the four o'clock, that's what you eat at four o'clock when you have a little, uh, you're a little peckish and we call that le goûter, it's a snack, okay. Now, gâteau, 
what's the gender of gâteau? Is it fem feminine, masculine? Well, here it doesn't have an E, so maybe it is likely to be masculine. So I'm going to put the gender masculine. Knowing that it is masculine and not plural and it doesn't begin with a vowel or an H, we put the partitive article du. Nous mangeons du gâteau pour le goûter. Okay, next one. Aha! We have quantities here. Il faut 50, uh, 500, sorry, 500 grammes, something fruit et something sucre pour faire something confiture. Okay, now this one is a little tricky. Remember what I said when you use partitive articles with quantity? Well, everything you use, du or de la ou de, becomes de, no matter what. So, il faut 500 grammes de fruits et de sucre, well done, pour faire, in order to make jam. Okay, so I'm going to draw the little pots of jam here. Okay, and that's the spoon going in the pot. That looks like a pot of paint, actually. Okay, anyway. Confiture, however, is not referred to quantity as such. Some jam. Now, confiture has an E at the end. Okay, so it is going to be de la. It's feminine. Okay, and we need to refer it as being feminine. However, fruit and sucre is referred as the quantity 500 grams. So we must put de. Numéro 7. Je mets and then abricot dans ma tarte. I put. I put apricots in my tart. <laughs> abricot. Now, abricot has an S here. So that's going to help me a lot. I don't even need to know whether it's feminine or masculine here. Because abricot, the fact that it has an S, is plural. And the plural partitive is de. Okay? So des abricots. It doesn't stop me from saying that actually it is uh, in, in its singular form, abricot and abricot is masculine. So if you wanted, I can color code it because I know it's masculine and abricot. Je mets des abricots dans ma tarte. I put apricots in my tarte. Okay, let's have a look at the last three. Numéro 8. Vous buvez something lait tous les matins. Now, vous buvez is you drink. You drink some, and lait is milk. Okay, milk. So here's my bottle of milk. Okay, lait. Okay, vous buvez du lait. Oh, no, I've done it. There is not one, <laughs> one video of this practice where I do not give at least one away. You didn't hear that. Listen to my word. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. You did not hear this one. Ah. Oh. Vous buvez. Now, lait. Feminine, masculine. Look at the ending. It's a T, likely to be masculine. So it is du. Well done. Well, I've said it anyway. Vous buvez du lait tous les matins. You drink milk every morning. Tous les matins. Okay? Now, have a look at numéro 9. Oh, this one. I can see a negation. Can you see it? Je ne mange jamais... And then something, pain, le soir. Okay, so we want to have a look at that. Ne, jamais, never. And manger is to eat. So, I never eat bread. Okay. In the evening, le soir. Okay, so because we're using a negation, and what I've said to you about using a quantity, a very precise quantity, and a negation, all these partitive articles, de la, du, and de, are transformed into de, or de, apostrophe. And so we've got to do the same here. Je ne mange jamais de pain le soir. I never eat bread in the evening. Okay? De pain. And by the way, <clears throat> it doesn't mean to say that pain doesn't have a gender. It does. Pain is masculine. And by the way, le is masculine too. Let's have a look at our last one, number 10, numéro 10. Elle a something argent de poche toutes les semaines. So, she has, okay, argent de poche. Argent, pocket, no, argent, money, poche, pocket. So, pocket money. So, that means she has some pocket money every week, toutes les semaines, okay, toutes les 
semaine. Now, what would you say? Du argent de poche? De la argent de poche? De l'argent de poche? Des argent de poche? Well, here the word argent begins with an A, okay? And it is a vowel, so therefore we are going to say DL apostrophe. Elle a de l'argent de poche toutes les semaines. She has pocket money every week. And by the way, argent, and this is for you, is masculine. Okay, that's it. Remember that you can have access to the support guide if you join my community on YouTube. Leave a comment. Subscribe. That's it for me. Au revoir. Bisous, bisous.